Hey friends, what's up? It's your buddy Keith, and I am live again in the control room at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England, and I've got one of my favorite guitars of all time to share with you guys. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe, smash all of those buttons, come join our circle of friends. There's about 7,000 of us right now, and you're going to see some of the rarest guitars that I get from all around the world. This one came to me from Australia. I am a huge fan of the Jackson Roswell Rhodes. I'm probably the biggest fan of the Jackson Roswell Rhodes, which is really funny because when they came out in 96, I hated them. I absolutely hated them. I had just gotten my first Jackson. It was a, a PS4, Performer Series 4, with, uh, you know, it's a Strat body shape. It was trans blue with a blue flame top and had a humbucker, single coil humbucker with a licensed Floyd Rose, and I thought I was the man with that guitar. Well, years later now, I love these Roswells. They're so cool. They've got alien crop circle inlays. They've got a very modern headstock logo that was unique to just this model. It was way ahead of its time. And what do we know? We've got George Lynch at ESP copying this design years later, and we've got Gibson with the modern V copying this design more than 20 years later. It's uh, it's pretty wild to see how far ahead this guitar was for its time. And, uh, you know, if you take one look at it, it definitely looks like something that belongs in the 2020s and not the 1990s. This guitar was built in early 97. Um, I've got a picture of the date. I think it was like... It's tough because these were built in Japan, the wood-bodied ones. The aluminum, or aluminium, as they say over here in England, um, they were built in America. And if you wanted a wood-bodied one, it was tough luck. This was actually another interesting thing, is the spec on these, aside from the, the pickup, which is a Duncan design, very odd choice, and not a full-blown Seymour Duncan. But yes, factory, these came... From Japan, these are built by the top, top luthiers in Japan who went on to form comparison guitars. Pretty wild. But um, the spec on these is incredible. And we've had both the aluminum one and the wood one, and we've recorded with the wood one. Uh, Tom Guitarthy used one of these not too long ago on a Bootyard Bandits track, and he was blown away. One, they're lightweight, very well balanced. But they just sound awesome. And I mean, if you look at the spec, Goto tuners, there's no, I can't think of any other Jackson, especially during the 90s, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, that had Goto tuners. Very rare for these, serial number, it's a J serial number, but on the headstock, usually you'd find them right here where my greasy thumbprint is at the heel of the neck. Also very rare, model number on the back of the headstock. And this is, un this is not a sticker. This is under the clear coat. I've had quite a few of these. I mean, not many were made, but I've owned, this must be my, mm, I'm going to guess my seventh Roswell Rhodes, maybe eighth. You know, and again, out of a couple hundred that were made, this is the only one I think I've ever seen with the model number written there. And it's also uh, written in the neck pocket. And I'm trying to see what the serial number is here. It begins with a J. Well, I'm not making it out. Oh, there we go. J. It's like 190. Nine nine six five, something like that, or zero one zero nine six five. Um, it's a serial number, but I've never, I've never seen that before. So I'll have to go look on Google and, and see if I can find any other examples. And I don't know what that means. You know, Roswell Rhodes one is what it means, but like one is typically reserved for USA made guitars, and. From what I remember, they were calling this the Roswell Rhodes Pro. So, very, very cool. If, if you guys know what this is about, 
leave a comment in the comment section. I've never seen it before, not to my memory at least. But uh, it's in the neck pocket as well. And it's under the clear coat. So you've got string through, configuration, four bolt, bolt on. And this thing just plays and sounds awesome. There's two mods that you'll usually see on these. And that is an upgraded pickup. I've had them with EMGs. I've had them with uh, chrome covered Seymour Duncans, uh, full blown Seymour Duncans. You know, I've, I've, I've seen that as a common upgrade. Not that there's really anything wrong with the Duncan design. It's just, you know, I guess it's considered a budget pickup. And then the other mod that you'll see is the factory plain black knurled single volume knob gets upgraded. There's a company that makes the UFO knobs that are found on the USA ones. And the UFO knob is billet aluminum with a rubber gasket, like a rubber O-ring that goes around the edge of it just for grip. And it looks really cool and feels really cool. And yeah, it goes with the whole Star Trek theme. I think it's Guitar Zoo. If you Google the Roswell Roads, talks about the history of these. There's an interview with the guy who designed it. And it was clearly, as you can see, based off the Star Trek logo. And, um, you know, the headstock almost looks like the old Enterprise there. It's really cool. But really cool guitar. I've had a lot of them. Check out the channel. Check out all the other examples. You can compare them. This one's in very good condition. There's a few little nicks on the edges. And I think there's one in the kind of neck pocket right there. Really common stuff. You know, and this one's been in Australia. It's... So it went from Japan to Australia, now it's here in England, and it will find a new home with one of you guys at some point. And in the meantime, we're going to use it here, and uh, I'm out of Roswell Roads at the moment, so we'll use this one to record. And this, again, is the only one I've ever seen with the serial number on the headstock, and the only one I've ever seen with Roswell Roads 1 under the clear coat on the back. And actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I've... I think... They don't come with Godos. I'll have to go back and check. But I thought my Grover Jackson one had Godos and the rest had plain. Now I'm second guessing myself. I'll have to go check. But I can't think of any other Jacksons that came with Godo tuners. You guys let me know. And let me know about this, this RWR1. I'm really intrigued by it, as you can tell. And aside from that, dudes and dudettes, have another look on the channel. We just had a really exciting ESP uploaded it was like one of the first 200 ever built all blue even the fretboards blue is owned by the lead guitarist from girl school which is the longest running female rock band in the world holy smokes she's from australia actually well another australian connection there uh but other than that what else do we have going on we got a lot more cool esps coming up this weekend on sunday i'm going to upload some so yeah, stick around. Like I said, lots of other Roswell Rhodes guitar videos on the channel. And uh, enjoy your weekend, everybody. Thanks a lot. Follow us on the socials at Essex Recording Studios, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that jazz. And uh, have a look at some of our gear as I say goodbye. Adios.